Do you crave for a very clean scalp while using a neutralizing and a moisturizing shampoo at the same time? Here is a DIY shampoo that is easily made at home, the ingredients easily accessible, and the procedures are very simple for you. Here is the African black shampoo, the white one, and my sunflower oil, then the avocado oil. And these are the herbs that I will be using. I have my sulfur powder, dry rosemary leaves, dry moringa leaf, and my fenugreek seed. All this will be going into the shampoo. Now, I have my storing jar, the bottle, the big one that I will be storing this shampoo. Just transfer the amount of the black soap you want to use. You can either use the black one, the very blackish one, or you use this white one. Any one you get will still give you the same results so i just tried to break the bigger lumps to make the mixing very easy and then faster transfer everything into your storing jar all the herbs you use for this shampoo helps to neutralize the scalp it reduces air falling air breakage and it boosts the overall health of your scalp and, and that is why I love to use them in my shampoo. Now mix everything thoroughly. Mix them thoroughly to make your work easier when you pour in your water. Now after thoroughly mixing them with that stick, that is what I use mostly for my soap making as well, pour a very hot water. Now I intentionally do not want to bring the kettle into the camera. So I transferred the water into that small bowl to make it very much easier. Pour the hot water into it, a one at the boiling point. I almost forgot to add my ginger. That is my dry ginger. I have them at home, everything dried. So I just rinsed it and added it to the mixture. I cannot do without that ginger in my mixture. So now I went in with first my sunflower oil. There's no order to add in the oil. Just add your oils. Little oil is enough. Little goes a long way. This helps the soap not to be so dry. It helps your shampoo not to be drying, to dry out your hair after washing. Now I'm just going to keep that away for days or weeks, depending on how much time you've got to store your shampoo now after about two three weeks i think three weeks this is how my shampoo looked look at it can you see the color can you notice the difference in that color and look at the mixture everything has mixed properly you can hardly see the fenugreek the rosemary leaves and what have you you can hardly see them separate Everything has blended well. Look at how greenish it is. It shows that the moringa leaves has infused properly into the mixture. And look at how foamy it is also looking. This is to tell you that this shampoo foams very well. Look at it. Let me show you how greenish it is from that spoon. See it. Look at I'm just in love with this shampoo. This is what I use to wash my hair. I haven't gotten any other shampoo from the store since I have been using this DIY. Well, I'm not saying I'm not going to get anyone from the store anytime soon or in the future. But for now, this is what I use to cleanse my scalp and my hair. Now, sieve it to sieve out all the residue so that you will not end up picking residues from your hair after washing. Especially, we have the bigger one. We have the dried ginger residue still there. And you want to use a sieve. This one is a double net sieve that will help to sieve to protect every tiny particles from getting into the mixture, into the liquid. Look at it after sieving. I'm sure you can see that foamy look, that foamy appearance. 
this shampoo forms well and it cleans well and again it helps in hair growth boosting it boosts your hair growth process now i went to with my tea tree oil you can use any essential oil of your choice but i like the tea tree oil because it has this peppery this tingling effect in the scent is wow and I'm just going to transfer it into my storing pot soon. This is where I use it for easy application. So I am using this one to store it. So transfer it into any of your bottles. Everything here is a DIY. So you do not need to bother buying a bottle. If you have a bottle, use any bottle you have at home. As long as you can easily access it while you want to wash your hair. You see, I spilled it a little. And this time, I was very careful transferring it into that bottle. See how greenish this shampoo is. Look at the foam. Look at it. Look at it. You want to try this shampoo? And get Get back to me on what your review is on this shampoo. This is the leftover. I'm just going to transfer that into another small bottle after this recording. And that will be all for this DIY shampoo. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel for my new viewers, yes, please do not forget to do so as you are supporting this channel to grow wide and supporting it, helping every other person to see this content. To my returning viewers, thank you very much for your encouragement. Always. Thank you for coming back to see my videos. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you and God bless. Bye.